Hello friends, welcome back to bankexamstrata.com. Today we will do a very important chapter in reasoning that is calendars. So first of all, you should know there are two types of years. There, are, the first one is an ordinary year. Ordinary year, and the second one is a leap year. There are three sixty-five days in an ordinary year and there are 366 days in a leap year so what is a leap year a year that is divisible by divisible divisible by 4 for example 2004 2008 2020 these are leap years <coughs> but there is an exception to the century years the century years should also be divisible by 400 so 1300 is not a leap year while 1600 is divisible by 400 so it it is a leap year 2000 is divisible by 400 so it is a leap year 1900 is not divisible by 400 so it is not a leap year in an ordinary year in an ordinary year there are 52 weeks plus one odd day In a leap year, there are 52 weeks plus 2 odd days. So in total there are 365 days and here there are 366 days. And the century year, the year 2000, there were 0 odd days. days just remember these codes 0 is for Sunday 1 for Monday 2 for Tuesday 3 for Wednesday 4 for Thursday 5 for Friday, 6 for Saturday, 7 for Sunday. Hey, why I took 0 as Sunday? Because 1st January 00 AC was a Monday. That's why we take Sunday as a base. Let's do a very simple question. Which day of week lies on January 1st, 2008? So first of all, find the number of odd days for years from 2001 to 2007. We need to find the number of odd days. So there is, so there are six ordinary years and one leap year and for the six ordinary years there there will be one each one each or ordinary uh, odd days and then it'll become six and for the leap year there is one leap year and there are two odd days in each leap year then there will be two odd days So by combining it, it becomes 6 plus 2, 8. And then again, we need to divide it by 7. 8 divided by 7, the remainder is 1. So there are, there are 1 odd days. From 2001 to 2007. 
and on 2008 1st january 2008 there is just one one odd day that is 1st january itself so there are one from 2001 to 2007 one and one here from here two odd days so it's a code two so if you look at the codes that i gave in the in the starting of this video on sunday it was zero on monday it was one on tuesday it was two on wednesday it was three thursday four friday five saturday six so it is two so so on first january 2008 it was tuesday and that's our answer tuesday okay let's do another simple question which day of week lies on 18th of march 2016 So let's solve it. From two thousand and one to two thousand fifteen, there are three leap years and twelve ordinary years. Ordinary years twelve, and leap years is three. So in twelve ordinary years, there are twelve divided by seven. so the remainder is 5 5 odd days and in the leap year two leap years sorry three leap years there are six odd days so let's combine it 11 divided by 7 and the remainder is 4 okay let's calculate the number of odd days for the year 2016 in the january jan it is 3 because there are 31 days and let's divide it by 7 the remainder is 3 so there are 3 odd days in february there are 29 days as it is an odd uh, leap year so let's dividing 29 by 7 the one is remainder and in march on 18th march so we need to divide 18 by 7 so the remainder is 4 so the total number of odd days is 4 plus 3 plus 1 it is 8 and we need to divide 8 by 7 to find the number of odd days so the remainder is 1 So the total number of odd days from two thousand one to two thousand fifteen is four from here and one from here. Four plus one is equal to five. So if we look at that that code table in which we mentioned that Sunday is zero, Monday is one, Tuesday is two, and the Friday is five. so on 18th march the day was friday and that's our answer thanks for watching this video you can buy the quantitative aptitude made easy book for more practice questions from bankexamstudy.com call me or drop me a mail